What up? Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Access games, TV shows, and websites locked in your region at expressvpn.com slash let's play. Hello, it's Ayo. Michael and Jeremy from Achievement Hunter, and we have a little uh, early demo of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Yeah, uh, Toys for Bob was like, hey, want to come to this like video conference where we talk about Crash 4? And I went, they talked about the game, and they sent over this little demo. Yeah, and Jeremy was nice enough to let me play it. So thank you, Jeremy. Well, you perfected uh, the Insane Trilogy. It seemed only fair. I, I, it, was, well, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm really excited to play this. So this is the first level called Snow Way Out. And right off the bat, they've got one of the new masks. So I guess there's a couple of new masks in this game. four in total. Brand new and ones. Um, this one slows time. So you see like the crates, you can see the timer ticking on them. And when they reach like a full circle, they disappear again. So um, it actually works really flawlessly. You can start it and you can also stop it whenever you want because it's only like one second if you don't slow time. Yeah. So it's kind of nice where if you start it too early or something, you don't have to wait for it to run out. You can immediately turn it on and off. And the, um, the delay in between using it again is very short. Um, but the thing about these are they're only at certain points. It's not a mask you pick up and keep. Like, the game gives it to you and then takes it away from you. Yeah, um, I think uh, certain parts of the, like, overworld map are dedicated to each mask, pretty much. Ah, ah uh, I see. Yes. And then you even see there something new in this game with this mask. You can actually jump on the nitro crates because time is moving so slowly, and then you have time to get away before oh, they explode. I didn't see this part. This That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, slowing down time with the icicles. It kind of it kind of goes throughout the whole level. So it's got a lot of the classic crash stuff, you know, from the original trilogy. Um, there's hidden gems. There's like a physical one here I find right right up there just on top of the screen But as far as I could tell there were six gems in all the levels Jesus. Uh, From the demo all all related to kind of doing different things There's also the wumpa fruit is now a collectible. You'll see that there's 581 in this level. Oh, so, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so um, oh, you got I think all. that's a I think that's a gem in itself, and I believe there's also when you see I pause here, there's six gems. I think there's one for beating the level, one for all the wumpas, one for doing the bonus level, one for getting all the crates, and one for finding them, uh, for finding the actual hidden gem. And there might be one for beating it without dying. I'm not exactly sure how I got the sixth one because I yeah. did play that level 30 times until I beat it without dying. Oh, this mask um, is awesome. I like so this is this. the uh, yeah this is the like phase shift mask so there's just basically alternate reality boxes um, and this this broke my brain here because there's yes there's, you got to phase the mushrooms out of the way and then there's also a bunch of boxes where you gotta phase them back in and then you can go underneath so they really nailed having you know the the classic crash style but adding a lot of new stuff to it that's it felt like the old ass. The, the, you know that T-Rex is going to chase yep. you. So this is one of the classic <laughs> chase levels. They've got slidings and chases. This level, I died so many times in. This, they're just trying to get, trying to get everything, and then uh, he eats you. Yeah, one of the classic questions that was asked at the presentation was like, is this going to pose a challenge to people who like played the first couple of games? And they were like, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, in, immediately what I felt, which I kind of liked about it was, it's not as unforgiving as the first crash, which is the hardest one, mm -hmm. but it felt like the difficulty really ratcheted up trying to get all the gems. So I think it kind of has a happy medium where people that just want to play the game, it's not going to be excruciatingly difficult, but people that want to get everything, it's going to be really challenging. Yeah. They also, the game's available in two modes. They've got modern or retro, and in modern, Instead of, you don't have lives, you can just die as many times as you want. There's no there's no counter, and it replaces that with a death counter. So you can actually just oh, see you just how, many know how many times you failed. <laughs> yeah, there's a little skull in the upper right-hand corner. Um, or you can play Classic, which is, you know, has limited number of lives. I don't know what I was thinking there. I think <laughs> I missed that box, and I wanted to go back for it, and he just ate me. Yeah, there's, I really wanted to push it. Because I'm never sure, like, if he breaks it, does it count or not? I was very Yeah, I think you got greedy. me on one of those during the Let's Watch. You're like, he'll get that box, and then he did it, and you went, well, well guess not. <laughs> nice to complete yeah. the level. God damn uh... it. <laughs> so, Gavin, for example, could have a much easier time playing this game if he just plays in modern, and he won't run out of lives. Which I think is what should happen when this comes right. down. Right. <laughs> Gavin do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and like... I also know because they went into a lot, you know, a lot of detail about the game during the meeting. Um, 
yeah, the, these levels are separated, I believe, closer to Crash 1 than it was to, like, Crash 2 and 3 had that hub world. And Crash mm -hmm. 1 had more of that map, and that's closer to what it is in this game. It has, like, a, a map that you can go from level to level in. Yeah, you're like a big crash. On and then the little, this, little and then spot. this stuff. Yeah. So this is so this is a cortex timeline. Meaning, I, I guess the way it's gonna work is it's the same level that a crash <laughs> level has, like same thing a level that crash does, but it's cortex's version. And there's some sort of um, they converge at some point, and then you switch back to crash for the for the rest of the level. Yeah. So he plays totally different. Um, he can only jump once. He can't double jump. He's got a gun which turns enemies into a solid platform, and then a second shot turns it into a bouncy platform. Yeah, jelly, And obviously, he has his, uh, he's got his little air dash there. Um, but what's, what's interesting is when you go back to Crash, even though it's the same level, so this one particularly, it picks up where the pirate ship explodes in the first level. Mm -hmm. You see the kind of like, oh, uh, Cortex detonated that, and that's why it went off, and you switch to Crash. But the box placement is completely different than his original level and there's like in for in this level for example there's way more crates and the the setup of enemies and and you know the crates are different and they also add a new one they add a fire crate uh for crash which is just another it's it's kind of like a time thing like right this first one's right there in front of you so you yeah. kind of gotta not get cooked by it oh um, yeah so i saw this happen in the level so yeah that's how they work in the whole Cortex uh, part. So now you're yeah right back to Crash. Yeah, you're that. back to Crash. You're back on the same level, but it's different collectibles. And then here is I just die a lot. If you want to see, <laughs> to me the, it was I, like I loved it, but I was getting so frustrated because I was just trying to get all the crates. And boy, it's just so unforgiving if you just miss a tiny bit. And and I will say this game gives you a little circle if you've noticed when you're jumping. It's oh, not usually like, the old game is just a shadow. This actually gives you a circle, and you think, that's so useful, I'm never gonna die. And then you just die, and you die, and you die, and you die. Oh, well, I have um, no idea no. what the other two masks are gonna do, but I'm really interested. I, I think also, for, just for people's knowledge, um, I don't think that you can use more than one mask at a time. Um, and Yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah they, 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 they seemed pretty specific to the level. Yeah. Um, and then just at the end of here, they've got the classic, like, invincible... A Kuaku mask, run on through, and that, I mean, that's, that's Crash that's 4. That's Crash 4. Uh, it's a big game. It's, it's so I've heard, it's a very big game, and if you liked the original Crashes, this was made very much with them in I, mind. I loved it. I love yeah. playing the demo, so I'm super excited about the, uh, the game coming out, and thanks to Toys for Bob for letting us check out the demo. Thanks. Expect a lot to watch when it comes out.